would happen if we killed all the mosquitoes? Why is your head bandaged? Mosquito bite? But isn't that dangerous? True, but my friend killed this mosquito with a hammer. That is not the greatest risk of damage from mosquitoes. Just think, every year in the world, about 220 million people become ill with malaria. In addition to this disease, mosquitoes are carriers of worms, filarium, yellow fever, dengue fever, and a number of other diseases. Wouldn't it be wonderful if all mosquitoes were extinct? Are you sure that would be a good thing? Let's imagine all of the mosquitoes on the planet disappear tomorrow. It seems to me that the result of their disappearance will not be entirely positive. Much joy will be experienced in African and Asian countries due to the disappearance of mosquitoes. These people will now be able to explore the swamps and floors that mosquitoes once prevented them from entering. I'm so happy! No one will drink my blood! Your hope is in vain. In addition to mosquitoes, many other things feed on human blood. Horse flies, leeches, midges, ticks, and even vampire moths. In the absence of competition from mosquitoes, these insects will immediately increase in number. You will not even be able to calmly walk past a pond. In order to escape from hordes of midges near the pond, you will need to wear a special mask and clothing. Besides the suffering caused from mosquito-borne illnesses, mosquitoes actually act as a stabilizer in the ecosystem. They help to regulate the number of certain animal populations along with predators. There are many different types of mosquito species. The family of blood-sucking mosquitoes alone includes more than 3,500 species, among which approximately 40 species transmit malaria. What a huge number of mosquitoes! I have to start killing them all, and then when they come out, so that the summer there will be fewer of them. After all, if I kill only one mosquito now, it won't be able to produce another 500 mosquitoes by the summer. However, some types of mosquitoes hardly bother people at all. In addition, if absolutely all mosquitoes disappear, then the sweet tooth of the whole world can say goodbye to chocolate. Cocoa plants are now pollinated mainly by mosquitoes. Okay, let's leave mosquitoes alone, but it's a pity that good old Noah didn't swat a couple of mosquitoes when he had the chance. With that exception, mosquitoes are an important link to the food chain. Due to the reduced availability of food in lakes and rivers, fish species that feed on mosquito larvae will be endangered. Some of them may adapt and eat other different sources of food, and others will die. The same applies to frogs. To survive without mosquitoes, they will have to begin eating more moths than flies. Bats will also have to survive on a diet devoid of mosquitoes. In order to not starve, they will have to catch more moths, which will greatly reduce the population of moths. Additionally, some plants are fertilized with waste products from the larvae of mosquitoes or pollinated by mosquitoes. Naturally, such vegetation will disappear. Due to the lack of their main food mosquitoes, many birds will leave the cities. The population of birds in the Arctic tundra will also be greatly reduced and some species of birds will, could die out completely from starvation. As we can see, the complete disappearance of mosquitoes will trigger a chain reaction in the ecosystem that will affect plants, birds, fish, animals, and people. The full consequences of this chain reaction are difficult to predict. There are many ways to fight mosquitoes. People poison them with chemicals, infect them with bacterial and fungal diseases, and use a various repellents with strong odors. However, mosquitoes adapt quickly to these inventions of the modern chemical industry, so their complete destruction is unlikely. What effective methods of protection against mosquitoes do you know? Let us know in the comments, like, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.